Hey everyone, Sam Webb84 here in a Transformers Earthrise review. And in this review, I want to take a look at the two pack from Target featuring the Seekers, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Now, before we jump right into the characters, let's take a look at the box, which is really nothing special. This says Skywarp, Thundercracker, Cybertronian villains. The other set of two packs is the uh, Decepticon uh, clones. Side, it got some box art, which is nice. And back, 30 steps get you all the way around with these guys. Other side has the Earthrise art top. Got your obligatory Galvatron right there. And then the bottom is just some mumbo jumbo and some planets and that one's outer space. And here are the secret jets. On the left here, we have Thundercracker, and on your right, we'll have Skywarp. Here's just retools of the previous Earthrise Starscream. We'll slide him right here in the middle. So you have your three classic 1984 Seeker Jets. And they look really good all together. Pretty close to some G1 animation. We'll throw some of that up top real quick. Now moving on to more of the actual vehicles. They're the exact same molds. There's nothing different about these guys except for the face sculpts and your colors of plastic and some paint apps. We'll go ahead and move Skywarp and Starscream out of the way. And we're just going to focus first here on Thundercracker. And here's Thundercracker in the jet mode. Take a closer look at him overall. Very similar to what you do. If you have Starscream, you know what you got with these guys. This isn't really going to be a full-on review. More, it's more comparing all three Seekers together and showing them off with the original classics, the original Chug or Generations, universe versions of the characters. So not bad at all. I do like it a lot. Looks really good in jet mode. I honestly think is the actual best mode of the figure all overall. And here he is next to his old deluxe version. It came out about 10 years or more ago. And you can see this one is more of a blue, like a deep blue, which is more closer to the uh, cartoon animation colors. This one's probably leaning a little bit more towards the toy. Uh, actually, probably a little bit darker than the toy, more of the original uh, U.S. masterpiece colors. Pretty much a lot of the stuff this one does, this one does, is very much similar in the way it transforms. And some of the articulations of the robots and everything. Now the difference between this figure, this figure, besides the coloring, is the way the feet fold up in jet mode. And these fold up to the shins, whereas these fold down to the back of the jet. Also the uh, missiles, or the null rays, the, the blasters on their arms. These from the old one actually fire. There we go, took a minute. So they actually have uh, firing projectile missiles. And also in the in the boobs here, you can fold out some landing gears. You know, it's not like the old G1 when you had it here, but you can fold these out and, and the bottom of the feet, they sort of molded in wheels. These don't actually don't move. None of these move, but they're there. It also keeps the figure's chest piece and everything off of the ground so you don't scratch up any of this silver paint. That's one thing I wish they did on the Earthrise versions of these guys. These pieces do not fold out. There's no landing gear. And they could have came with a separate piece you could have plugged in because there's a little circle here. You could plug something into that uh, port. There's nothing back here as well. But this uh, like neck piece here does come down further than the chest so it won't scratch your silver paint. And also the feet here have these little like tabs on them which kind of will prop them off the ground. So that's your biggest differences between these jets here. So the painted nose cone. And a little more paint out, different paints on the back wings. And moving on to Skywarp. Looks really good. Again, no painted nose cone on this guy, but I like the colors on this guy. He's really, really cool looking. Uh, I do like it a lot. Like I said, I like the jet version of the figures, like the jet mode of the figures. I think this is really sleek. Uh, to now, yeah, you can see parts of the robot, but it's not as bad as like the Power of the Prime Star Screen was. Even G1 was sort of, you know, you can tell what it is down here. At least it hides the head really well. This is back there. We'll compare it with the old Generations version. And there he is next to his old Generations version, which is again 10 plus years old. Differences, you were off the bat, you can see that this has a different nose cone, which is actually different. It's not painted, this is actually a different piece, sort of like a soft rubbery plastic almost that's just shoved in here. It's got a pin, 
but you don't really want to be moving it around too much. The, the paint on the wings, there's a little more silver paint apps going on, whereas not here. And also on the back wings, you got this purple paint. Where that's all purple, it's purple and black. So that's your biggest differences right there. And also this has the firing missiles. And of course it has the uh, boob nipples that come out for the landing gear and the feet fold. It's just different, but things are the same, but different. Both look really good. When I first got these Siege Seekers, I, I like the robot modes. So I was like, well, I could keep them in robot mode and always have these older versions be their Earth modes when they transform. So I wouldn't have to worry about having this. I almost feel gypped that most of the figures that have come out in Siege were getting new ones in Earthrise. So I was like, why did I buy Siege? Because I'm a fool. Now let's move on to the robot modes. And here's Thundercracker and the Skywarp and Robot Modes. You notice both are missing a wing. And that's a problem I have on these figures. Their wings like to pop off during transformation. They don't tab on a really good connection there. Starscream, I had no problem whatsoever with this. But these guys, I have this problem. Time to transform. Uh, both wings will do it, but this one is a which be his right arm. Uh, it seems to want to do it more often. It just is a peg. It snaps onto this piece here. It just comes off very easily in transformation. Anytime you want to turn it around and everything. So I just that's sort of, of a problem. It's very I don't know the word. Disappointing. It's very disappointing. And Skywarp's here just came off and I was just trying to unplug the gun. It pulled his whole wing off. So I just want to show y'all that. So that's why I left it that way. Again, it just goes back on. Like so. So that is probably one of the most disappointing things about these two figures is that it seems some kind of QC. I think I saw something about that online from someone else has this problem. I think I saw one of the Transformer groups on Facebook. Uh, so yes, it's a problem on mine as well. Now I'll show them off here with Starscream in the middle. And he has the crown from Matrix Workshop. Zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look at these three guys together. And my sky warp is the yelling face. So they look really good. I do like the look of the guys together. The biggest other problem, I, like, I just wish Hasbro put a little more articulation into them. There's no waist swallows. Now the original ones from, not the original ones. Now the other uh, generation versions from 10 plus years ago, they didn't have waist swivels either. But, you know, with engineering nowadays and the cost of these figures, you couldn't throw in some swiveling somewhere, but I guess not. It's it's not a make or break, but it is kind of also disappointing in these Seeker molds. So we'll show them off with their old brethren. And there's Thunder Cracker with his old Chug brethren. And of course, this was a deluxe back then. These are now Voyagers, so they are a lot taller. Of course, you can get more articulation out of the new guys. You have ankle tilts, which doesn't feature. Uh, he's got way upper thigh swivels, no waist swivel, no wrist swivels. He's got bicep swivels, you know, elbow bends, shoulders, 360. The wings are actually hinged, so you can move them. Head rotates all the way around. So you still get some decent movement out of the guy. Of course, you got knee bends. I should not have to point that out. Now, the old version here just had, you, know, you had your knee bends. Uh, you had a knee swivel. Uh, see, you see where they improved upon the mold. It doesn't have bicep swivels, no race, waist swivels, no ankle tilts. Uh, he's more loose in the legs. The head skulls are kind of all weird. I, I prefer the new ones. And it's just the guns are overly huge. And that's just because they have the firing mechanism inside. So, and now let's move on to Skywarp. And there's Skywarp with his old brethren here as well. Again, the purples on the new Earthrise are more of a deep purple. Was the purples on this one are more of a pinkish purple? Again, the same kind of comparison between Thundercracker here is this. I think it's a it's a good improvement. This is a much better figure than this one was back then, and this one was much loved. I think these should be much loved too. Just after having the Siege Seekers with all the articulation they had, it does feel like a bit of a downgrade in robot modes to go from that to this, even though this one is probably a little more G1 accurate. And here they are with their Siege counterparts. 
The Siege ones are a little bit taller. If you see my Earthrise Star Screen video, you know the differences here. But the Siege are a little bit taller. Of course, you got more articulation in the Siege figures. So the biggest difference, I would say, is you know, if you want a G1 accurate looking robot, Earthrise is more the way to go. If you want a figure that's more articulated, Siege would be the way you'd want to go. But also, Siege has the battle damage. You can see it all over their legs and their forearms. Earthrise features none of that. They're, they are clean figures. Uh, I think the head sculpts, I think I like the Earthrise ones a little bit more. Even though the light piping on the Siege figures is beautiful. Whereas the paint, you kind of it's hard to get the light a certain way. You know, otherwise, if you have a little bit of darkness over their face, it'll give them a dead look. They look dead, but the light piping on these guys can be wonderful. Whereas these guys, you just gotta get the light to hit their eyes. They're better off than the Star Scream I had was. The other thing I like on the Earthrise are the articulated wings. These had articulation where you can move them around. But these have that extra hinge in the middle of the wing so you can just move part of the wing, not the entire wing. And I like that a lot as well. So while standing here, we'll bring in the Netflix version of Megatron. Standing back here in the back. I like the silver on him. We'll move these guys out. Bring him in. Oh, it's Megatron. So uh, these guys, I would say, are different pickups. They are $59.99 in the U.S. at Target. Now, it's a two-pack for your Voyager size robots. So actually, you're spending a penny more than you would have if you just could buy them separately. If they would say, well, say at Target, they'd be $29.99. That'd be $59.98. So you're actually spending one more penny just to get them at the same time. I guess it's the convenience of a two-pack, which right now are hard to find if you're lucky to get them online or find them in stores. They're starting to show up more now. And I did hear somewhere that they're going to be more plentiful in July. Now, the Rainmaker set that was also a Target exclusive had three secret jets in it. That was pretty easy for me to find around here. And it got to be some stores had a lot on the shelf. Eventually, they had to actually go to clearance on those guys. Just give it time. Don't pay the scalpers. Just wait it out. Uh, be patient with these guys. They are worth the money. If you like that G1 look, if you want the articulated, I'm saying you have the Siege versions, just stick with them. I know Siege Skywarp was a hard figure to come by. He commands ridiculous prices on the secondary market. Uh, so if you can't find a Skywarp, this two pack, if you can find it, it'd be a lot cheaper than just buying the Siege Skywarp. A lot of people are just buying the Netflix Hot Link and using that as a uh, Skywarp. And I think I've seen pictures of people have taken Thundercracker, who is plentiful at stores, and gotten a Hot Link and somehow did a mishmash to get a good looking um, Skywarp out of it. You want to say thanks for watching my review? More just a comparison. I'm showing them off with the past figures. Let's take Megatron out. But we'll just put the whole family in here together. There are your uh, Thundercrackers, and we'll bring in the Skywarps. Put them right here. I'll bring this one back so I can get this one in a little bit more. Definitely, the black on the Earthrise Skywarp is black, whereas the black on the Sea Skywarp is more of a charcoal or dark gray. So I, I like the look overall of the paint. I should have mentioned this earlier. On uh, I like to knock these guys down. On the Arthritis Skywarp. I just think he looks more like Skywarp. I, just, I like that one a lot more. So that's all of these figures here. I want to say thanks for watching my review and supporting my channel. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Click the like button and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Till the next one. Peace out.